for those of you who run events, whether they're in person or virtual, LinkedIn has some great features you can use. And there's a brand new feature that's just rolled out. So I'm going to show you what I mean. So on the desktop version, you will find events by being on the home page or anywhere on LinkedIn, to be honest. Um, but the left hand panel, you'll find where you'll see the pages that you manage, recent content, groups and events. So you can click into the events that you have set up if you've already set up or if you haven't used it yet, you'll see events that you said you're going to and you can click the little plus next to the word events to set up your own events. There we go. So once we do that, we then fill out the information, we put in the event name, the date, the location, all those sorts of things. And the branding. Now on desktop, um, you can not only put the event logo, which is a generally a square or circular image, you've got the banner here, which is, has the dimensions four by what, four to one aspect ratio. Now the organizer, you can select yourself or you can select a company that you are the administrator for. So if I pick one of my pages, you'll see here the logo for the pages come through. Now, this is a brand new feature, um, the addition of online events. So if you, the button here is on and you can select, you can turn it off if it's a physical event and then put the location. And if you put the actual name of the location, it will bring up an address. This feature has been there for a while. So there you go, you can put your venue. But if you turn it on now, it knows that it's an online event and you don't need a location, but you can put the link. So a broadcast link. So your, your, um, your link to your say LinkedIn live or Facebook live or uh, zoom link or whichever other platform. Now keep in mind for privacy purposes, don't use the link that includes the password because that will bypass the need to log in. Make sure that you just use the, the bare link and let people know the password manually. You don't actually have to add this in there at all because you might actually want to put in a ticketing link, where people can book a ticket and they get the uh, broadcast link as part of their confirmation process. So here you would put your Eventbrite um, link or a hum Humantix, which is a platform I prefer to use, and off you go. Now you can also um, decide to make the event private if you like, or it's public, meaning anybody can find it. So once you've created your event, then it's just a matter of inviting people. So I go to an event I have already created, so that's how you get back into your events. It's on the left-hand panel on desktop. So you go into the event. Now this event was created quickly. It doesn't have any branding. So I might want to go and add this in. So if I go edit, edit my event, I can then upload an image, which fits these dimensions, which I may, I may have created in a tool like Canva, put the logo in. Maybe I need to make any changes. The only thing you can't change is the organizer. So if you have selected uh, the wrong organizer, you'll have to start again to so make sure you get that right. But you can see here, um, it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't at this point have online event because the previous way of doing an online event was to it, to select or type in online event in location and scroll down the list until you could find the um, generic kind of wording. So now we will do this and we can put the link in the ticketing link and off we go. So that's on desktop. Now, once it's done, you want to invite people so you can invite your first level connections. You can share a post to your network about it, which will drop into the home feed and you can share a post in the event itself. The other thing I would, I would recommend doing is letting your network know or your attendees know that they can invite people too, because you want to let people know about the event. So that's desktop. Now let's um, have a look at what it looks like on mobile. Let me just quick, quickly share that. There we go. Right. So now on mobile, if we're in LinkedIn, it's in a slightly different place. So at the top left hand, uh, left hand side, I'll, I'll do that again. You can see your little um, thumbnail image. Click there. That's how you get to your profile. This is where all your pages are and um, your groups and hashtags. So if we click on the drop down for events, the event, any events I've created or any events I've said I'm going to are all in here. So I will see that particular event I just showed you. Here it is. If I want to make some changes on mobile, I click manage, edit the event, but you'll see the background or banner images in there. That's the only thing I can't do on the mobile app. Um, the same applies to your profile as well. You can see I can't change the organizer, but I can make it an online event. I can put the links in here. 
So let's get rid of that one. Uh, now, if I want to actually create an event on mobile, click on my icon at the top left, scroll down to events, click the little pos, and now I've got exactly the same screen. So what I would do on mobile is create it here, and then I would edit it on desktop and add the, uh, the banner image to give it that branding. And on mobile, I'm just going to an event again, I can also invite people. So if I go into my previous event, it's already ready to go, I can share an update and I can invite my network, add some filters. So I might want to select Perth, done, apply, and then go through the list and, and invite a few people. You can't um, invite all, and there is a limit to how many people you can invite. And I believe it's about 100 that you can invite at one time. Um, and that's just to alleviate the, um, the spamming, because <laughs> you don't want to invite everybody. Um, it, it's about relevance. So there you go, that's events. How to add your Zoom link to your event now, how to make it virtual, and how to change your organizer from yourself to your organization. So thanks for watching, and any questions about LinkedIn events, let me know.